From WFRV TV Local 5, your local election headquarters, this is Newsmaker Sunday with your host, Tom Zelaski. Good morning. Welcome to Newsmaker Sunday. I'm Tom Zelaski. This morning, we're talking about domestic violence and an upcoming motorcycle ride whose goal is to put a stop to it. This week, we focus on an organization dedicated to helping those impacted by violence in their lives. The Violence Intervention Project marks its 30th anniversary as a nonprofit agency based in Algoma. The organization was founded under the name Kiwani County Domestic Abuse Services in 1989. It became known as the Violence Intervention Project in 1995. It provides support for victims of domestic violence, sexual assault, and child abuse. And joining us to discuss the issues this morning, Laura and Brooke from the Violence Intervention Project. And at the outset, we should note that we will only use their first names for safety reasons because of the nature of their work. And we thank them both for joining us. Laura and I go back a few years because I've been involved with this organization for some time now. Uh, give us an overview of Violence Intervention Project. What kind of a uh, organization is it? What do you do? We're a nonprofit domestic violence and sexual assault center that work to eliminate violence within our community. And what are some of the services that you offer, Brooke? Sure, some of the services that we offer to victims and survivors is individual advocacy and crisis counseling. We also offer medical advocacy and legal advocacy. Um, for example, if a victim um, was injured during an assault, we could offer transportation or also accompany them to the hospital to treat their medical needs. We also do safety planning with victims so that they know how to stay safe. And we also offer a number of support group services. We have a women's adult support group, a Spanish-speaking women's support group, um, a youth support group, teen support group and a bilingual Spanish-speaking teen support group so as well. So it's a well. wide variety of services that you have out there. Yes. Um, domestic violence, we always know about it in uh, larger communities. We hear about it in Green Bay and Appleton. We don't normally hear about it when it's out in the rural communities. Is it kept kind of quiet out there? In, in our community, in small rural communities, um, there's many myths and stereotypes that surround topics such mm -hmm. as domestic violence and sexual assault. So we work as an organization to create awareness to these key topics because it does exist. Last year the Violence Intervention Project served over 200 individuals um, with, with topics such as domestic violence, sexual assault, teen dating violence, and child abuse services. This quarter alone, we've served 138 clients in the past quarter. So we will exceed that total of the number of clients that we provided services to this year in 2019. Do you know in the rural communities, has the farming crisis had any effect on your operation? Well, the Violence Intervention Project does not track occupation occupational mm -hmm. data. We do know that domestic violence and sexual assault um, do not discriminate. So when it comes to individuals that misuse power and control or have an imbalance of power and control, triggers such as financial or economic stress can escalate, pe can escalate violence in um, situations where that imbalance of power already exists. What kind of situations do you see uh, when, when, when you get a phone call? What are some examples of what the person on the other end is telling you or asking for? Mostly, um, our, our response is validation to what they're going through um, at that time and working to meet their immediate needs. So it could be um, questions as to um, family court concerns, um, restraining order processes. If a victimization just occurred um, to safety plan mm -hmm. to assure that they're going to be safe for that time, um, to also um, provide more resources. Now when you say, when you say validation, what do you mean by, by validation? Well, it's so important that initial first step 
is so important for individuals to know that they aren't alone, that our organization is there 24 hours a day, seven days a week to support them, to process with them, to give them options. Um, they are the experts in their own situations. So sometimes it's just a matter of hearing that, um, that they're supported and valued. We continue with Laura and Brooke from the Violence Intervention Project right after this. So please stay with us.